Prestissima here. Today, we are going to learn a brand new song called Wayfaring Stranger. Wayfaring Stranger is a Southern American folk hymn or gospel song about a sorrowful person on the journey through life. This song is in minor mode using notes from the A minor scale. First, let's sing the song. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger while traveling through the world of woe. Yet there's no sickness, toil, nor danger in that bright world to which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. Let's sing it one more time. And this time, we're going to clap the beat while we sing. All right? Are you ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger while traveling through the world of woe. Yet there's no sickness, toil, nor danger in that bright world to which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. All right, good job, everyone. Now that we've sung this, let's learn it on the piano. So, as I said, Wayfaring Stranger is in minor mode and uses notes from the A minor scale. So, if you look at the keyboard here, A minor starts on A and goes to A. It has the same fingerings as the C major scale, if you remember that. C major was one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So A minor starts on A and goes to A. So the fingering is the same as C major. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, but did you notice that it sounded different than C major? The solfege for a major scale is do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. But it's a little bit different for a minor scale. Let me show you the major scale. So this is C major. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now when we go to minor mode, it sounds like this. I'm going to play A minor. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Minor mode has two possible methods of solfege. There's do based minor, which I just sang, and la based minor. Do based minor goes from do to do. And La bass minor goes from La to La. Good. In Do based minor, Mi becomes Me, and La becomes Le, and T becomes Te. In La based minor, we don't make any changes. So the solfege for Do based minor sounds like this Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Le, Te, Do. And for La based minor, it sounds like this. La, ti, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la. Both methods are useful in training our ears, so we'll practice singing the song using both solfege scales. Before we learn the song, I'm going to play the A minor scale, hands separately, going up and down. Here we go.
left hand. Let's look at our right hand here. Right hand first. We're gonna start on the first A below middle C. So here's middle C, there's A. And we're gonna play it with our one finger. So we have A again with our one finger. And then this is the first E above middle C here with our five finger. Okay, and then what do we have here? This is the D with our four finger. Back up to the E with our five finger back down to that D, and then what's that? The diamond means middle C, and that's the third finger. And then we've done that one already, that A below middle C. Okay, that was pretty easy. Should we try it again? Just that line with our right hand, starting with our one finger on the A. A, A, E, E, D, E, D, C, Ready? Let's go on to the next line. Second line here. Oh, we know that one. That's the A. First A below middle C. That's that A again. Oh, this is looking very familiar. There's the first E above middle C with our five finger again. Oh, now this is the D right below that. And then A again. Oh, what's that? Middle C with our third finger. And then the D above it. And then E. Okay, can we try that again? A with our first finger. A, A, E, D, and then A, C, D, E. All right, okay, let's do that much again, these two lines, but we're gonna do it in rhythm this time, ready? So, we're gonna find our place here. That's the first A below middle C with our one finger. And I'm gonna count it off for you, ready? One, two, Three, A, A, E, E, D, E, D, C, A, 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 E, D, A, C, D, E. Okay, now let's look at the third line. Oh wait, I think it looks exactly the same as the first line. Excellent, we know this. A again. A, A, E, E, oh, so familiar. D, E, D, C, A, oh, so good. Next line. Again, we have that A, 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 E this time. D, and what's this? Middle C with our third finger. This is the A below middle C with our one finger. Uh-oh, where's that now? So that's the first G below middle C, which is below this A. So we're gonna swing our number two finger over like that. There you go. And then you're gonna go back up to this A with your number three finger. Let's just do this part again. So there's middle C with our third finger. And then we have A below that with our first finger. And then we're gonna swing our second finger over to the G there below. And then use our third finger for the A above it. Okay, let's try this much again. Can we do it? From the A. We know this line. A, A, E, E. We have D, E, D, C, A. A, A, E, D. Oh, and then the middle C here, right? C, A. Swing that second finger over for the G. And then third finger for the A. All right, can we do these two lines in time, in rhythm? Here we go. So find your place again, here we go. One, two, three. Go A, A, E, E. D, E, D, C, A. A, A, E, D. C, A, G, A. All right, good job. Let's try playing. This whole page, right hand only, from the beginning, all right? In rhythm. One, two, three. A, A, E, E. D, E, D, C, A. A, A, E, D. A, C, D, E. A, A, E.
right, good job everyone. So, if this little spot here gives you any trouble since it's a little bit tricky, don't be afraid to play it over and over. Remember, things get better when we practice them slowly and correctly. So, let's try it. Just this section from the middle C here with our third finger. And then we have A. Oh, I remember we have the little crossover second finger up to the A with our third finger. All right, let's try that much. C, A, G, A. Again, C, A, G, A. C, A, G, A. If you feel good about it, you can speed it up a little bit. C, A, G, A. You want it to be comfortable. About it now. Time for the left hand. Okay, so let's start at the beginning here. We actually only have two chords on this page, so let's see what we have here first. So this is the first C below middle C. There's middle C. There's the first one below. And the two A's below middle C. There's one, two. So these two notes. And it says to use our first and third finger. Perfect. That's the same one right there. Oh, what's that now? You have the first F and the first D below middle C. Okay, here's middle C, here's F and D. So we're just gonna slide our fingers up here. That's F and D. And then what do we have here? That's C and A again, we know that one. So just slide our fingers down here. And then it's C and A again, C and A again. Oh, F and D again. So we're gonna slide them up here. Back down to C and A. Okay, so this seems easy but you have to be able to slide back and forth correctly, right? So, we're gonna practice. We have C and A, and then F and D. And then we have C and A, and F and D. And you wanna hold them down until you go to the next chord, right? So that's part of the trickiness. Here we go. So C, and then we're gonna play C again, and then up to D, F and D. And then down to C and A, C and A, C and A, up to F and D, and then back to C and A. All right, good job. All right, let's try our hands together this time, and we're just going to line everything up. So remember, when the notes stack on top of each other like this, this right hand on top of the left hand, we play them all at the same time. Same as here. When we play this note in the right hand, we play these notes in the left hand. And so here and here, and these all stack up, and these stack up, and these stack up, and these stack up. So let's try it. Where are we? We have that A below middle C with our right hand. And then we know we're gonna play this C and A down here. So let's try it. We have A, A, E, oh, and then together, E, and then C and A in the left hand. And then you keep playing the CNA in the left hand, but the right hand is now going to play D, E, D, and then together again, so pick up and play again, C, A, and then the right hand we have A, A, E, oh remember left hand is going to come up now to the F and the D, there we go, and then we're going to play the right hand A, C, D, and then the goes back to C and A in the left hand. There we go. Right hand A, A, E. Play C and A again. And then right hand D, E, D. And then pick up and play again. C, A, 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 E. Oh, the slide up there to the F and the D. There we go. And then C, A, G, and then back down to C and A. How do we do? Now, don't be afraid to play this as slowly as you need to so you can make sure you line up all your fingers and chords in the right places, okay? And then when everything is super comfortable, we'll play it in rhythm, okay? Okay, now that you've practiced it a whole bunch, we are ready to try it in rhythm. Here we go. I'm gonna count it off for you. One, two, Three.
Excellent, good job everyone. Okay, time for page two. If you notice, the melody is in the left hand. So let's try, let's play the melody in the left hand. This is the first E below middle C. Here's middle C, so there's E. We'll play it with our third finger. E again. Ooh, and then the G above that with our second finger. Well, it might be a little bit of a stretch, but no problem. And then A above that, okay? So is that tricky? Let's try it one more time. We have E, E, and then the G with our second finger, and A. Okay, so then coming back here, we have G with our second finger, A, G, oh, and then the E below that with our third finger, like we did before, and then the first C below, middle C with our fifth finger, so below that. Okay, should we try it again? E, E, G, A, and then G, A, G, E, C. Okay, good. Let's try the next line. We have E with our third finger again. Okay, so let's try that. We know that one. Oh, and then we stretch our second finger over for the G and A with our first finger. Okay, back down to G, back up to A, back down to G, and then that little stretch again to E. All right, can we do that much again? Let's do that much again. E, E, G, A, and then G, A, G, E. Okay, all right, can we do both lines together in rhythm? All right, let's try it. One, two, three. E, E, G, A. G, A, G, E, C. E, E, E. Oops, try it again. E, E, G, A. G, A, G, E. That's okay if you have little mistakes. If you have a little mistake, that's probably a section that you need to work on a little bit, right? So you can take it a little slower, play it slowly and correctly, okay? And that's how you get better. Okay, now for the second half of this second page, the melody goes from the left hand and switches to the right hand. So we were here at G and then E, right? And now we're gonna go to the right hand. So this is the first E above middle C. So we're actually gonna come up here now with our third finger and then F with our fourth finger, G, and then back down to E. And then what's that? We know that's middle C, right? With our first finger, and then D above it. Oh, what's this though? It says we're gonna play that D with our fourth finger. So we're gonna kinda scrunch them together and bring our fourth finger over right next to our first finger to play that D. And so then that makes it easy for us to play the E above it with our fifth finger and then C, middle C again, with our third finger, and then A, below middle C, with our first finger. Ooh, that was a little bit tricky, right? Let's try that again. So, we had middle C with our first finger, and then scrunch that little fourth finger over, and then E with our fifth finger, middle C with our third finger, and then A below that with our first finger. Try it again, one more time. So we have middle C with our first finger, D with our fourth finger, E with our fifth finger, middle C with our third finger, and A with our first finger. Let's try that whole line, okay? So we had the E above middle C with our third finger, F, G, back down to E with our third finger, and then first finger middle C, bring that fourth finger over next to your first finger, and then fifth finger E, Middle C, third finger, and then down to A with our first finger. All right, good. Let's move on. So for this last line, we are gonna play this A with our first finger. Again, A. Oh, up to the E with our fifth finger. And then D with our fourth finger. Okay, we're looking good. This middle C with our third finger. A with our first finger. Oh, and then we're gonna do a little crossover again, just like we did on this other page. We're gonna cross over our second finger to this G and then play A with our third finger. Wanna do that little tricky bit again? We did this on the other page too. So it's middle, middle C with our third finger and then A below that with our first finger and 
cross over the second finger there, and then A with our third finger. Okay, can we do this whole line? Let's try it. So A below middle C with our first finger. A, A, D, C, oh, oops. A, A, E, there you go. D, and then middle finger C, A, and then cross that second finger over for G, back to A. All right, can we play these whole two lines, the melody, and see what happens? So we're going to start on that E, above middle C with our third finger. So E, F, G, E, and then first finger on the middle C there. Remember, bring that fourth finger right over. D, E, C, A, and then last line, A, A, E, D, and then C, A, cross that finger over, back to A. All right, should we try that with your rhythm? Here we go. Starting on this E above middle C with our third finger. One, two, three. E, F, G, E, C, D, E. Oops. I made a boo boo. I didn't practice enough. Remember, we're going to do the little scrunchy thing here, right? All right, let's try it again. Starting with our right hand. Let's practice this real fast just so that we remember what we're doing there. So this was the middle C with our first finger. And then we're going to scrunch that fourth finger over to the D. And then play the E with our fifth finger. C with our third finger. And then A. Let's try that. So let's start it again in rhythm right here on this first E above middle C with third finger. Ready? One, two, three. E, F, G, E, C, D, E, C, A, 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 E, D, C, A, crossover, A. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we're gonna do this whole page, hand separate, and we're gonna do just the melody. So the left hand here, left hand here, and then remember melody switches to the right hand, right hand, okay? We don't have to do it in rhythm yet, let's just see if we can get them all. Where is this? First E below middle C, here we go, with our third finger. So we have E, E, stretch that second finger to G, A, and then G, A, G, Stretch that third finger to E, down to C. Then we have third finger again, E, E. Stretch that second finger to G, up to A. And then A, G, A, G. And then stretch that third finger to E. Oh, and now it's right hand. This is the first C above middle C with third finger. E, F, G, E, the middle C. And pull that little finger next over, the uh, fourth finger over. D, E, C, A, 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 E, D, and then C, A, cross over, A. Okay. All right, let's try it this time in rhythm. Here we go. With our left hand on the first E below middle C with our third finger. Ready? One, two, three. E, E, G, A. G, A, G, E, C. E, E, G, A. G, A, G, E. Oh, we're going to switch to the right hand. There we go. Oh, and this tricky part's coming up. Very good. The end. C, A, G. Good job, everyone. Okay, now 
let's learn the harmony for the second page. So since the melody's in the left hand here, we're gonna have the harmony in the right hand. And then when it switches, and the, har the melody's in the right hand, we have the harmony in the left hand. Okay, so let's take a look here. What is this first one? So we have the melody in the left hand, and in this right hand we have F and A. We have the first F above middle C, which is here, and then the first A above middle C, which is here. And we're gonna use our one and three fingers. Okay, good, F and A. Now, what about this? This is E and G. Oh, no, it's right here. Just gonna slide our finger down again, and then back to F and A. And then, oh, what's this? This is the first A above middle C, and then the first C above middle C. Okay, can we do all those? Let's start up here. So we have F and A, and then we're just gonna take our one and three fingers and bring them down to the E and the G, and then back up to F and A, and then up to A and C. All right, can we do all of them? F and A, E and G, and then F and A, and A and C. And then just like on this page, we want to hold these all the way through till we go to the next one. And then we just switch. So we're going to have F and A and you just keep holding it. Then we'll slide down to the E and G. We keep holding it until we get here. And then we play the F and A all the way till we get here. And then we're going to play the A and C. Okay. Then you'll see the melodies in the right hand. So the harmony is back in the left hand. Oh, and it also looks very familiar, doesn't it? So what do we have here? First C below middle C, and two A's below middle C, so, and that's gonna be first and third finger again, same here, and then F and D, right? So this is the first F below, and the first D below middle C. And then, oh, what's this, this is new. This is three A's below middle C. So here's middle C, here's one, two, three. Wow, all the way down there. So let's try it again. We have C and A, which we did before. C and A again. F and D, just slide it right up there. And then this low A. One more time. C and A. C and A. F and D. All the way down to A. Okay, and remember you're gonna hold them down until you get to the next one. D. Hold it till you get to the A. All right, we're on our way. Okay, let's see if we can play through this whole page now. Hands together, but we don't have to do any rhythm yet. Let's just make sure everything lines up. Remember, when you see these notes stacked on top of each other, that's when we play them together. So let's try it. Starting with our left hand of the melody on the first E below middle C. Okay, E, stretch that second finger for G. Okay, now we need harmony. Where's that? F and A, we practice that, right? Together, good. And then you hold it down, and you have G, A, G, and then the harmony comes down to E and G. And hold the, that chord down. Then you have E, E, G. Oh, F and A again there in the right hand. Hold that down. Then you have G, A, G, and then the harmony is A and C, right? Good. Then your right hand's gonna come to the melody, so come on back down here. And then we have E, and the fourth finger F, G. Remember, this lines up, so we play this together. There it is. And then keep that harmony down. We have right hand C. Oh, and remember, we scrunch that finger over. Four, five, and then play it again. And we'll see three. finger over G and then down here okay so you're just gonna keep practicing this make sure everything lines up hold these chords all the way over all the way over okay and then we are going to play it in rhythm are we ready now you've practiced this right let's try it we'll do it slowly okay here we go make sure you find the right place you're at the first E below middle C Good, that's the melody. Here we go. One, two, three. Thank you. 
y'all get that? Okay, now we're gonna play it three times and we're gonna sing while we play, which is very important. So the first time I'm gonna sing it on do based minor solfege. The second time I'll sing it on la based minor solfege. And the third time we'll sing it on the lyrics. Are we ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Do, do, so, so. going to sing it on la bass minor solfege. Okay, same thing on the piano though. One, two, three. La, la, mi, mi. Re, mi, re, do, la. La, la, mi, re. La, do, re, mi. La, going to sing it on the lyrics. Believe it or not, this is the easiest one. Here we go. Same place on the lyrics. One, two, three. I'm just a boy, wayfaring stranger, while traveling which is in minor mode, and we learned how to sing in minor mode on both do bass minor solfege and la bass minor solfege, and we practiced our A minor scale. So remember, keep practicing all your songs and your scales, sing while you play, and memorize everything. Prestissima out!